Adam 22, man. Adam 22, man. Shout out to Adam 22. You're doing the Lord's work, man. And no other blogger should say nothing to you about nothing you're doing, Adam. That's your channel. You can do whatever you want on your channel. Nobody should say nothing about what he's doing on his channel. He got Pop Smoke's killer on it. Now you get to see into the mind. But they mad at the white man for not having, for not being better, better than that. The white man, you white man, you supposed to have better morals than that. Did the interview this guy? Nah, man. That's BS, man. The white dude ain't do nothing wrong, man. The white dude covering your music genre. Your, he's covering you. The white dude is covering you and the things you do and the way you behave. It's called hip hop. He's covering the way you behave, the way you interact with each other. It's like natural geography. You wouldn't tell one of them people out there with binoculars out in the jungle, <laughs> put their camera down, which, hey man, don't, don't. Don't record those monkeys and shit. Go, ooh, ah! Don't record them, them, them hippopotamuses and them lions. Nah, he's recording you hippopotamuses and the lions and the cheetahs, and the antelopes. He's recording all that shit. And you getting to see what niggas are like. This nigga home. He killed Pop Smoke four years ago, three years ago, some shit like that. He's home. He doing interviews. He don't feel sorry about it. About it, but then as soon as you kind of show a little bit of weakness, people are well, going to use that let against me, you. Let me clear that. I'm not sorry about nothing. No, it should never happen, but I ain't sorry. I mean, like if I could go back, I'll go back, but I ain't sorry. Like, mm -mm. niggas die every day. Like, he was rapping about it, all type of shit. So I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but you know, I said my condolences. Why y'all don't want to talk about that part? Why niggas don't want to talk about this part where the little kid said this? Listen to what he said. Mm -hmm. Niggas die every day. Like, he was rapping about it. He was rapping about it. Pop Smoke was rapping about it. He don't care. These little dudes, I told you dudes all the I tell y'all all the time here, man. Hit the like button. Least you can do is hit the like button. Most you can do is take the five dollar challenge. I tell you that all the time here, man. These little dudes don't care when they kill you and they harm you. They don't care about that. They don't feel bad about that shit. Shout out to Palmer Henderson. I tell you that, man, all the time. They don't care. About it, but then as soon as you kind of show a little bit of weakness, people are well, going to use that against me, you. Let me clear that. I'm not sorry about nothing. No, it should never happen, but I ain't sorry. I mean, like if I could go back, I'll go back, but I ain't sorry. Like, mm -mm. Niggas die every day. Like, he was rapping about it. All type of shit. So, I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but, you know, I send my condolences to the family, and I wish it never happened, but. So, do you regret going to the Airbnb that night? I don't regret nothing, but I wish I never had me. Yeah. 
Well, he let me let me let me um. He don't give a fuck about that. Nigga. That nigga was just a nigga to him. He was just a nigga to him. Another nigga in the in the game in the streets that he killed. Just another nigga to him. He don't care about his life. His life don't mean nothing to him. But yeah, do he feel like, yeah, man, I guess, you know, I'm supposed to feel bad. Yeah. You know, society told me I was raised to learn that, yes, you're supposed to feel bad when things, when bad things happen or when you do stuff wrong, you're supposed to feel bad. So he's torn. Society told him, hey, man, uh, in this white man society, man, you got to have, you supposed to, you know, you supposed to feel bad when you kill somebody, man. So it's like, oh, all right, yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess I feel bad, yeah, yeah. But in his, in his mind, in his African mind, taking a life is nothing. This is Negroes from Negro land. What you watching here is Negroes from Negro land, man. He killed one of the top rappers in cold blood. He home less than four years later. He already home doing interviews. What was the penalty that was going to supersede his African mind? His reprobate, carnal African mind. What was going to... He would have needed something external to override that, man. He didn't get that. The consequences didn't override it. The system didn't override it. So now he's just left with his own morality. Press one. He's left with his own morality. About it, But then as soon as you kind of show a little bit of weakness, people are going to use that against you. Let me clear that. I'm not sorry about nothing. No, it should never happen, but I ain't sorry. I mean, like if I could go back, I'll go back, but I ain't sorry. Like, mm -mm. niggas die every day. Like, he was rapping about it, all type of shit. So I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but you know, I send my condolences to the family, and I wish it never happened, but... So do you regret going to the Airbnb that night? I don't regret nothing, but... I wish I never had me. But when you say you're not sorry, well, you just it seems like you're acting like this is just the circle of life. This is how it happens. No, it's not. I'm not making this small thing. It's just, I don't know. Growing up, I just, my, my people, my family told me, you ain't sorry for shit. Like, whatever you did, you did it for a reason and stand on it. So it's like, yeah, I did it. Like, this is just the circle of life. This is how it happens. No, it's not. I'm not making this small thing. It's just, I don't know. Growing up, I just, my, my people, my family told me, you ain't sorry for shit. Like, whatever you did, you did it for a reason and stand on it. So it's like, yeah, I did it. But it wasn't like, We all went to go do that. 
So start making me feel like so I feel like people need to start making me feel like I got some something to like I got owe some somebody I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well like for example, if I was driving home later and I hit somebody with my car and they died, it's not like I did anything to go out of my way to make that happen. That is just kind of part of what happens when you drive cars is that at some point somebody's going to get hit, somebody's going to die, but I would still feel horrible about it, even if I didn't yeah, go out of my yeah. way at all. Yeah, you. A nigga never would have said that. A nigga never would have broached that into the conversation. A nigga would have just been like, all right, so when your album coming out? A nigga wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, would have delved deeper. Something to like, I owe something to somebody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, like, for example, if I was driving home later and I hit somebody with my car and they died, it's not like I did anything to go out of my way to make that happen. That is just kind of part of what happens when you drive cars is that at some point somebody's going to get hit, somebody's going to die, but I would still feel horrible about it, even if I didn't yeah, go out of my yeah, way at all. Horrible. Yeah, you're right. Horrible. Yeah. See, the white boy got that out of him. Shout out to the white boy. The white boy got him because the, the Negro mind is like a, you're dealing with like a, you're dealing with like a, a, a subhuman. So the white boy had to kind of like search and probe and prod to get the right answer out of him. Shout out to the white dude, man. Yeah, oh yeah, the white dude is a degenerate too. That's why he's in here. Listen, of course the white guy's a degenerate. That's why he's here with them. That's why he's in this 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 whole hip hop shit with them. Cause he's a degenerate. Oh yeah, I definitely, yes, the white boy's definitely a degenerate. He wouldn't be. He wouldn't be with these niggas in this mess if he wasn't a degenerate. He wouldn't be in this low vibrational world of thuggery and chaos and sh where shit like this happens on the norm. Where shit like this happens on the norm. He wouldn't be so I'm, I'm not saying the white boy's not a degenerate. I'm still saying he has a white man's mind. Press one. I'm not saying the white boy's not a degenerate. I'm saying the white man has a white man's mind. He thinks differently than the Negro. He thinks differently than the Negro. I'm not saying that he's a good guy or he's he does everything right and you know, the Negroes are bad and he's good. No, I'm not saying that. That's what they want you to say. So they can be like, see, so what you trying to say, man? We good, they man, you be. Nah, that's not what I'm saying. And that's also some nigga shit where they try to be like, man, so you trying to say. And so they don't have to deal with what you're really saying. That's nigga shit right there, trying to not deal with what you're really saying. What I'm saying is the white boy got kept probing and prodding and got the nigga to say, all right, man, you're right. It is wrong what I did. And a nigga would have left it at this. A nigga would have left it right here. Let me show you where a nigga would have left it. A nigga would have left it right here. That's you. Let me click that. I'm not sorry about nothing. That's all you would have got out of a nigga. 
a word, yeah. So you from such and such and such, you know, so and so, yeah, so and so, so and so, yeah, yeah. I'm on that dick too. Well, I'm on your your man's, yeah, your OG man. I'm on his dick, yeah, swinging from his dick, yeah. Oh yeah, oh so and so too, yeah, yeah, yeah. The white boy actually got a. The white boy actually got a, a human reaction from this Negro. No, that should never happen, but I ain't sorry. I mean, like if I could go back, I'll go back, but I ain't sorry. Like, mm -mm, niggas die every day. Like, he was rapping about it, all that type of shit. So I ain't, I ain't sorry about it, but you know, I send my condolences to the family, and I wish it never happened. But so, do you regret going to the Airbnb that night? I don't regret nothing, but I wish I never had either. But when you say you're not sorry, what well, you just seems like you're acting like this is just the circle of life. This is how it happens. No, it's not. I'm not making this small thing. It's just. I don't know, growing up, I just, my, my people, my family told me, you ain't sorry for shit. Like, whatever you did, you did it for a reason, and stand on it. So it's like, yeah, I did it. But it wasn't like we all went to go do that. So start making me feel like, so I feel like people need to start making me feel like I got something, something to like, I got owe something to somebody and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, like, for example, if I was driving home later and I hit somebody with my car and they died, it's not like I did anything to go out of my way to make that happen. That is just kind of part of what happens when you drive cars is that at some point somebody's going to get hit, somebody's going to die, but I would still feel horrible about it, even if I didn't yeah, go out of my yeah, way at all. Yeah, you're right. Horrible. Yeah. That's a better word for it. Yeah, I feel horrible for it. I feel horrible for participating in the whole situation. Like, yeah, that's, that's a better word. Man. But I just, I just can't tell nobody I feel sorry. And like even like when I got released, I read to the judge. I read a whole like, um, what you call that? What you call them letters oh, when you write, write it to the witness? Thank you, white man, for getting a human reaction out of this nigga. For not giving up, man. For not giving up. Thank you, white man, for. For giving this nigga an analogy, man. <laughs> well, like, for example, if I was driving home later and I hit somebody with my car and they died, it's not like I did anything to go out of my way to make that happen. That is just kind of part of what happens when you drive cars. Is that The white man even, listen, the white man even went down to the nigga level. He compared... Finding out where a, a, a hip hop artist was staying in an Airbnb, mobbing up with your homeboys, going to the Airbnb, breaking into the Airbnb, and shooting the rapper dead while he was in the shower and taking his Rolex watch. The white boy compared that to driving a car and killing somebody and hitting somebody, killing somebody while you're driving your car. He had to make that ape-like connection, that ape-like, that primate-like connection to get a human reaction out of this African-minded reprobate thug I, it's not like I did anything to well like for example if I was driving home later and I hit somebody with my car and they died it's not like I did anything to go out of my way to make that happen that is just kind of part of what happens when you drive cars is that at some point somebody's going to get hit somebody's going to die but I would still feel horrible about it even if I didn't yeah, go out of my yeah, way at horrible. all yeah you're right horrible yeah 
That's a better word for it. Yeah, I feel horrible for it. See? <laughs> See? They mad at the white boy. This is the this is the problem with being a white person in black spaces, i.e. a cop. I.e. a boss at a job. I.e. any white person in a black space. We expect more out of you. We expect more out of you, and yet we still, still will punish you. And revile you. For not doing a perfect job. I think this white boy did an exemplary job getting this getting this African bushman. This African bushman. This guy belongs on the savannah, like living in a hut with like eight wives. And uh and like teeth of his enemies strung across his neck with in a chain with a string. This is a bush man. This is a primal African hut dwelling bushman. And Adam 22 got a human emotion, a human reaction out of him. And I don't care if the white boys are, is 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 into all type of degenerate stuff. Of course he's a degenerate. He wouldn't be here hanging out with us. Press one. If this white boy was not a degenerate reprobate, if he wasn't a slumming ass white boy falling short of his own glory, he wouldn't be here fucking with us in this hip hop bullshit. Salute to Nick Tal Javon. He says, yo, I, why is it cool to interview King Von, who not only claimed to have killed seven people, but also bragged about it repeatedly, but not this guy? Exactly. Exactly. Why is it not why is it cool to kill all um to most a lot of them rappers have killed people? This white boy. He it was slick what he did. He he put in he 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 took it he took it the first person player because blacks are first person players, so we only think about ourselves. We um we're very um we're very selfish and self centered. Let me not say selfish. We're self centered. We can only really think through the prism of how it affects me. How does this affect me? What am I getting out of this personally? The white boy put it in his shoe. He said, hey, man, if I was going home tonight and I was driving and I killed somebody. So basically he took a situation that was far more criminal and culpable and broke it down to a average situation which we all do we all drive places so then the sub man mind said oh okay so basically oh okay so it's just like if i just did all oh, right yeah 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 i feel bad yeah i feel bad about it man yeah 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 i feel bad yeah i feel horrible yeah yeah the white boy did an exemplary job he did a he did a great this white y'all need to all be making videos about how excellent of an interview this white boy conducted. And yes, he's a savage, reprobate, carnal, probably criminal white boy himself. He's probably involved in all types of activities that would be considered criminal himself or degenerate. But he still has a white mind. 
just like a doctor, a black doctor or a black neurosurgeon or a black professor, he still got a black mind. And I hit somebody with my car and they died. It's not like I did anything to go out of my way to make that happen. That is just kind of part of what happens when you drive cars is that at some point somebody's going to get hit, somebody's going to die, but I would still feel horrible about it, even if I didn't yeah, go out of my yeah, way at all. Horrible. Yeah, you're right. Horrible. Yeah. That's a better word for it. Yeah, I feel horrible for it. I feel horrible for participating in the whole situation. They're mad at him. He started, the, the Negro started with, with just being a Negro. And he got a human emotion out of it. Worry about nothing. No, it should never happen, but I ain't sorry. So he went from that to getting them here, and niggas are mad at him. Yeah, that's a better word for it. Yeah, I feel horrible for it. I feel horrible for participating. In <laughs> Yo, white people, if you white, stay out of niggas' spaces. Stay away from Negroes. Stay out of niggas' spaces. You don't, your mind, listen. And I say blacks, man. Stay out of Latino spaces. Stay out of Asian spaces. You don't understand those either. You don't understand those either. As a black man, you're not going to understand you get on a train in Japan and it's 800 people on one car on the train, on the subway, and it ain't a sound. 800 people on one train car and it ain't a sound being made. So quiet, you hear a Mouse pissing on cotton. You're not going to understand that either. That's the problem with multicultural societies. We're forced to live together. Think about it. As a white dude or an Asian dude, you could be this guy's neighbor. Your kids could go to school with this guy. Think about it. Think about if you're a white a white dude, right? And you're an accountant, and your wife she's a um uh she let's just say your wife is a a, a secretary or something, but now she's a homemaker. You had kids, and she stays home, and you you an accountant and shit, and you. But she got a degree, but she now she's a, a housewife with a degree. Y'all raising y'all little kids up the way y'all would raise them. And they going to school, a public school, and it's 200 of these niggas in this public school. 200 of them. It's 200 of them in the public school. Yeah, everybody hit the like button, man. That's the least you can do. Least you can do is hit the like button. Most you can do is take the $5 challenge. I ain't, listen, I'm not here to play with you. I'm not here to try to act, oh, oh, man, no, 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 no. No, I'm not here to act tough with you. But it is what it is. That son man needed this white dude to delve deeper. Now this white dude in a in in could probably be in a in a in the same prison with this guy. This guy would be in the black gang and this guy would be in the white gang. He'd be Aryan or Nazi or skinhead or low rider or whoever. And this guy would be blood or crip. Right. And they would be the same. They could share the same prison. But they think differently. 
They don't have the same brain. They don't have the same mind. Shout out to Prodigal one, Son One. He said, doing God's work, Ock, as always. Everybody take the $5 challenge. Let's go. Facts, man. This white boy is being castigated and reviled for this interview in which he did an exemplary job. Shout out to Dina, man. An exemplary job. Here in the media, we got to take a little bit of accountability, especially, let me tell you this. There's a lot of things that I did on the way coming up, you know, even. Yeah, you did the same thing. This is the Warren Chirac. This is the guy who did the Warren Chirac. He, he interviewed hundreds of murderers. He did, he made light of hundreds of murders. He did the a series called The War in Chirac where he talked talked about where he covered the Chirac drill rap scene. That's all you have to say. He's the guy who popularized and brought to the forefront and legitimized and introduced us it gave us every little nook and cranny of the Chicago drill rap scene. And now he's criticizing the white boy for this interview. I don't even want to hear what he's going to say. I don't even want to hear it. Shout out to academics. Academics is a neat. He has an African mind. I don't even want to hear what he got to say. Because it's just, just niggas talking. But yeah, man. You say, but what Ak is saying is true. All right. Well, well, tell me what's true. Let's see what's true. Here in the media, we got to take a little bit of accountability. Especially, let me tell you this. There's a lot of things that I did on the way coming up. You know, even certain, maybe even extremes I went, even with the war in Chirac. Like, I wasn't academics now. I wasn't the guy in the position where you're you're on a handful of people who could shift any rap narrative. You're one of the biggest outlets. Now that I am, there's things I ha it, it, it's just it, it's about okay. I could do this and just do it for the bag, or and then it could be like, but you're already getting the bag, and you already are in the position to help control and mold. Nah, man. You can't, I can't tell black conservative perspective what to do on this channel. I can't tell ABL what to do on this channel. I can't tell Brandon Tatum what they should do on their channel. I can't tell black Gen Z what he should do on this channel. I can't tell K.I. the truth what to do on this channel. I can't tell Mark Dice what to do on this channel. I can't tell Salty Cracker what to do on this channel. I can't tell Jason Whitlock what to do on this channel. I can't tell. Nah, man. Nah, you can't You can't t hold this white boy to a higher standard because he white. Now, listen, we do it all the time. So I get it. We do it all the time. We hold white people to a higher standard. We're like, come on, man. You're white, man. You're supposed to make the right decision, man. You're supposed to do the right thing. You're white, man. I get it, man. But it's not right to do it in this situation how media affects this culture certain things you should be above right and again you know Adam's my peer so I ain't really taught down on him but you know I, I wonder if he knows but I'm gonna talk down on repercussions of what he's doing right when you interview Pop Smoke's killer you basically tell what's the repercussions accountability um the repercussions is that the nigga started off saying he didn't give a shit and ended saying he felt horrible about participating in it. 
Pop Smoke's people should be happy. And our Pop Smoke's people going to ride on this nigga or they going to ride on Adam 22? Me being a Negro, me being a Negro, I would bet that Pop Smoke's people are more likely to do something violent to Adam 22 than they are to do something violent to the nigga who shot their, their, their meal ticket, their mascot, their homeboy dead in the shower and came home and said he ain't give a damn about it. That's the way, that's the way some people think. That's the way um, the African Bushman hut dwelling mind thinks. That's why when they went to Africa, you, you didn't have buildings over one story. You didn't have a written language. You had all type of weird, grisly traditions and rites of passages and taboo customs and all that stuff. Shout out to Jimmy Fields Productions, man. Salute to James Iveen, man. He says, hip-hop culture is designed to cultivate narcissism. Nah, hip-hop culture is just a reflection of the people who do it. It ain't designed to cultivate nothing. Hip hop culture is just a reflection of the people who do it. To help control and mold how media affects this culture, certain things you should be above, right? And again, you know, Adam's my peer, so I ain't really taught down on him. But, you know, I, I wonder if he knows the repercussions of what he's doing. Right. When you interview Pop Smoke's killer, you basically tell and signal to the entire whole cloud chasing generation. You signal to black people, black people. He meant to say black people right there. Signal to the entire whole cloud chasing generation. If you murder someone, especially someone with a name, you have a platform. You have a you have you murder you rob. Yeah, but academics, man, and shout out to academics, man, because this is how stupid niggas are. If you disagree with somebody, you hate them. That's another thing. If you if you disagree with anybody, you hate them. Academics, that's how you listen. Adam 22 did the interview because he got it before Vlad got it. Vlad would have got it. If Vlad didn't get it, Cam Capone would have got it. If Cam Capone didn't get it, the Art of Dialogue would have got it. And so on and so forth. You might have got it. And if you would have did it, you wouldn't be saying this shit. Especially someone with a name, you have a platform. You have a you have you murder, you rob, you do anything violent to you have a platform and a safe haven to possibly get a another type of cloud or career. I think that's a dangerous precedent, very dangerous precedent. You get what I'm saying? Um, especially given the fact that. What we do in media is predicated off covering these rappers' lives. You know what I mean? It's like you kind of have to draw that line, right? It becomes slightly even more egregious when you realize, I think the nigga got paid for it. You know what I mean? So it's like the nigga kills somebody in hip-hop, a beloved figure, then gets paid to tell the story on a hip-hop platform. Like, it basically telling any random bum-ass nigga, nigga, go rob, go shoot, go do anything to a rapper, and you will get a payday. Just bet you don't go to jail for too long, and you'll get a payday, guaranteed. 
dangerous presses. That's what I believe. Here in the media, we got to take a look. The Chicago shit. Steer clear. You don't notice I steer clear the Chicago shit because I know what that is. Y'all don't y'all don't catch me on the Chicago shows because them niggas are still talking what they talking. And I got a Chicago team, and I'm not gonna be sitting down with the wrong people, right? So I let them do their thing. That's him and Remo. They do their thing. Remo's a civilian nigga. You know, a New York nigga grew up in Mississippi and live in California. That's their thing. Only thing I can control is what's at my table. I'm there one day a week. Now, I said, okay, Adam, you started with the underground SoundCloud rappers. We need to get back to it. He didn't want to do it. Okay, I'm going to turn my studio into that, and I'm going to cross-promote it here. I need to use this as a playlist because you got a bigger platform so I can tell the youngsters that come over there that we're going to playlist your song over here, cross-promote there. Uh, academics, I need you to tie in. After and all those SoundCloud rappers have robbed people, carjacked people, and many of them have killed people, or at least shot at people. Certain people come on your live stream to put them in front of that big audience. These is niggas, is underground, people don't know them. Vlad, I need you to cross-promote. If you want me to do what you want me to do for you, cross-promote this underground podcast to your people all right now y'all can say what you want call me what you want i'll probably the only nigga and academic spoke on it today he said why is the only nigga that could grab three four major platforms and make us work together for him now i'm not gonna walk out on no jumper knowing it's a platform that i can use to help me to help the people to help everybody only thing i could do is control what's said at my table but what him and the other dudes are doing, I, I can't control that. I don't even know these other niggas. Okay, I hear the play, and it's a smart play. I hear what you're saying. But there is some detriment to the community in the process of that play. Man, Are, blame the community. Detriment to the community. What's wrong with these people? There ain't no community, man. That nigga killed Pop Smoke, and he, he, he home chilling. Ain't no community, man. And Pop Smoke was, was rapping about the same shit that happened to him. What community is this sister talking about, man? What is this sister talking about? Smart play. I hear what you're saying. But there is some detriment to the community in the process of that play. Man, Are, blame the community for the right, community. Cool. Don't blame right, no cool, 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 cool. What? If that white boy is that powerful, I hear you. I hear you. where he could destroy all our community, then we ain't shit anyway. All right, like, we weak in anyway. On, uh, and one white boy is controlling not all one our community. Not one <laughs> white boy. <laughs> Facts, man. Facts, man. Let me get on to some real shit, man. Facts. Well said, Wack. Well said. Well said, man.